On May 13, 1943, days after the Nazis invaded France, the newly appointed Prime Minister of England Sir Winston Leonard Spencer Churchill needed to deal with British people people and provides them hope when everyone seemed hopeless. He chose the center's message about one word and word that may feed Brits people during the long and devastating battle against the Nazis, a word that may inspire people to risk their lives. In his speech, he said that you simply ask what our goal is, I can answer it with one word. Victory at any price may be a victory despite every terrorist victory, regardless of how long. And also the road could also be difficult because without victory there'll be no survival after the war Churchill may say that every one great things are simple and lots of them may be expressed in one word within the book. Your one word author Evan Carmichael echoes the identical message that Carmichael says that there's one word that defines your identity connects all the items in your life that cause you to vibrant and can facilitate your break loose the shackles of mediocrity. Your one word what you defend may be a fundamental value that you simply use to form important decisions and find out that your one word is critical if you wish to create an exquisite company or a product. And there are two reasons for this first. Your one word may be a constant source of motivation and second, your one word makes it easy for people to speak about you. Anytime you are attempting to try to to something great, you may experience a setback once you desire for going because you are not getting the results you expect or aren't any longer encouraged by others. What drives you through these dips is remembering why you are doing what you are doing. Why you struggle, your only word is that reason. And since it's so short, it's easy to recollect when times are tough when Evan was starting a web business for helping entrepreneurs. He was uninterested in working long hours and getting but the salary, and he was losing his self-esteem and he felt sort of a complete case earlier he was engaged on his website he made his YouTube videos daily he felt his efforts were distracted so he decided to form a mission statement for his company. He came up with phrases like helping you build your dream company, your motivations, and techniques for entrepreneurs, but none of those phrases was needing to try this work, so he decided to look for one word and word that may guide his decisions when things became difficult, and a word that may represent what his business represents after looking a diary exercise that I'll explain later within the video that he discovered the word was the idea that his work is there to assist entrepreneurs believe what they're doing and believe they'll make love and believe that he will succeed with one word that made him pump blood he reinvigorated his desire to try to to the work by aligning his work together with his one word he found gained clarity and conviction to push by dropping into a loyal following and building a thriving business. The second reason behind the ability of your one word could be a because having the replacement word to direct your efforts makes it easier for people to speak about you. Steve Jobs once said it is a bustling world we can't have an opportunity to create people remember lots about us then we've got to be really clear about what we would like them to understand about us. Your potential customers are going to be busy and inundated with ads to shop for many products, unless you'll be able to stand out from the competition in an exceedingly unique way. They simply won't notice you or tell any of their friends about you, but Evan says once you rise up for something important people feel connected to and something people are happy with being part of you, easy for them to share because they only should remember the word one when your only word are some things apart from money or profit that you just distinguish yourself from the competition and develop an emotional reference to your customer while Steve Jobs ran Apple. His concentrate on elegance was clear and made it easy to inform the difference between an Apple computer and ever why another computer in the marketplace by understanding that knowing my one word can help me bypass the plunge and permit others to simply spread my go through word of mouth. I made a decision to go looking for my only word that I started by answering a matter in each of those three areas. My favorites, personality traits and constants. Within the area of AA favorites, I asked myself what are my favorite books and what do they need in common? What are my favorite films? And what do they need in common within the area of AA personality traits? The traits they share and what's the alternative within the field of constants? I asked myself what's the benefit or interests in life for the longest period I can remember after the video pauses for quarter hour and take a look at to answer these questions yourself write a protracted list of answers in a very notebook for every of the three areas after why I came up with several answers asking yourself what words do my answers share. 
What's the common thread that connects each of those three areas together after I did this exercise? I found that every when have I mastered my favorite films, Born Ultimatum and Wrestler relies on characters who have achieved mastery. My favorite books are Determination and Climax, and that they both explain the trail to mastery. I like being around people trying to perfect their craft and that I hate being around satisfied and lazy people. A relentless theme in my life I have been obsessive about, with certain things and trying to master things like golf where I want to spend hours and hours within the range and far prefer playing practice in pursuit of mastery, which is why I spend countless hours reading books and creating these videos. I would like people to become masters of their profession by teaching them the tools and therefore the techniques to try and do so, and also the pursuit of mastery has guided many of my big life decisions and forces me to maneuver forward once you undergo a journaling exercise and still can't come up with one word that you simply associate your answers with sleeping on them then get up within the morning and review your list and determine which words seem at you. The Lama said that sleep is that the best meditation after you think you've got found your word and remind yourself of it throughout the day and spot its effect on your life. Does it inspire you to require action? It doesn't provide clarity when making difficult decisions if you are doing not still look for the sole word that was the most message that you just gathered from one word. The book goes into more details now. You'll use one word to create a successful business. A. Thanks for watching.